Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome back to America's Generators channel. Today, we'll be talking about electrical frequencies and what happens when you connect devices to them that weren't designed to be run on that frequency. Before we talk about generators and frequencies, let's talk about a very basic but very important aspect of our global electricity infrastructure, the frequency. Depending on where you are in the world, electricity operates at either 50 or 60 hertz. So over here in North America, we operate at 60 hertz, while Europe, Asia, and Africa operates at 50 hertz. The difference isn't just random, it's actually a bit of history, economics, and technology. Initially, 60 hertz was adopted in the US and North America for the performance in early motors, while Europe adopted 50 hertz for long distance power transmission. Now let's talk about what happens when these worlds collide. Imagine trying to run a 50 hertz device on a 60 hertz generator. Generators are precision machines designed to run at specific frequencies. Running a 50 hertz generator in a 60 hertz system or vice versa is like having an athlete perform out of their league. Such a mismatch leads to several issues. First off, overheating. Electrical and mechanical parts don't like being ran in this kind of mismatch. The strain causes significant wear and tear, may lead to costly repairs or even outright failure. In addition, this frequency fuss affects the stability in power output. Imagine lights flickering or your devices acting haywire because of the voltage instability. These are all risks in ignoring frequency compatibility. So what have we learned from this? Respecting frequency standards aren't just technical jargon. They're essential to the longevity of your equipment and devices and for your power output. I'm Mike with America's Generators. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Remember, stay powered, everyone.